Welcome to another video. This time we are playing Phasmophobia and we're going to do a professional run on Brownstone High School. On this occasion, I've already put all my equipment into my equipment list, ready to go. So let's not waste any more time and get stuck straight into it. Right, now that we've loaded into the vehicle, we are ready to go. First thing I always do, obviously There's read no the objectives. Sightings, but please remain First one is obviously, as always, gonna uh, discover what type of ghost we're dealing with. Second one on this one is witnessed a ghost event. Take a picture of a ghost and get paranormal activity on the EMF reader. We're gonna start this like I start all my ghost hunts. A moment, uh, camera and a strong flashlight. Obviously the key to open the door. One bit of a tip I could give you, you don't have to listen and follow these rules, but it's what I like to do. I recommend that you don't use the front exit on this map. Reason being is if you start hunting whilst you were trying to exit the building and it closes the door in your face, you are unable to run to a classroom to hide and take cover. So I always tend to start on the left hand side. There's no reason why the left hand side, it's just something that I like to do. And then we'll start off by quickly scouring each room. I go through each room, give it a few moments to see if the temperature drops and whilst I'm in this room. I'm also scouring the floors and the tables for the bone. The technique, I've got a path I'd like to take, more often than not. So I just quickly enter each room, look around, see if I can see the bone anywhere. If there's no top drop in temperature, we just quickly exit and move on to the next room. Same sort of procedure in every room. It's always good if you've got the thermometer, if you're working in a group. Oh, we can hear the phone ringing, that's a clue of where it's going to be. Sounds like it's relatively close, so I'm going to say it's on the left hand side, possibly upstairs. But I'll keep, keep on going through these rooms one by one to, just to see if I can find the bone. It's not always guaranteed I get the bone in high school because there are so many classrooms to search. But it was nice that it gave us a girly telltale sign. Oh, there we go. Look, there's the bone. Nice. Snap a picture of the bone. And what I always do just to make sure is go to your photograph section and make sure the bone is registered in your journal by having them right in above the photograph. Pick the bone up. Put the light back on. I'm pretty certain, listening to this direction of the phone ringing, I'm gonna say it's upstairs. So what we can do, we can just put a couple of these lights on just to keep our sanity up that little bit stop it dropping down so fast I'm gonna start checking upstairs because I believe that's where I heard the phone ringing from same sort of procedure as always we go into the room we don't have to spend so much time in here as, as much as we did previously now that we found the bone so now what I do I go into each room and look for any temperature drop anything below 12 degrees Celsius is a bit of a good telltale sign that that's the room we're going to be needing. So I'm going to quickly keep on checking these rooms now to save as much sanity as we possibly can while seeing if we can get the phone to ring again. <coughs> And good thing about you're in the phone, we know it's not going to be a bathroom. But look at this, we've also found the Ouija board. The 
same process again. Sometimes this could be a little bit tricky to get the photo to register. As shown here, this seems to happen quite regular, unfortunately. Don't waste too many photographs on the Ouija board. We'll knock that back off to save our sanity. But, as I was saying, means it was a phone ringing is a very strong possibility that it's going to be a classroom, not a toilet or a store room. Like these rooms. It's nice to know that the electrical breaker is close by. So hopefully we should have the room nearby and then we won't have to worry about the ghost tripping the breaker. Quickly run through all these rooms now to see if you can find the source of the ringing phone. I would still be looking for the bone normally, luckily this time we found the bone nice and early. <laughs> so we're still just going through, looking, see if we can find a drop in temperature anywhere. It's not going to take us fails along here and we still don't get the room we're looking for. We could always go back and try to ask the Ouija board for a little bit of guidance. Ask if the Ouija board will uh, talk to us. I don't seem to have that much luck with the Ouija board to be fair. But that's a good telltale sign it sounds like it's upstairs. If it's not a revenant, we can kite the ghost around a little bit, which is a bit of a useful tip to you guys. At this point we could even try taking a photo of the ghost, but unfortunately we used all our camera rolls up on the Ouija board. So what I'm just going to do now, I'm just going to go around in a large circle, try not to go back on yourself. Because that's when you could get into a little bit of a sticky situation with the ghost. But keep on going around in a circle, trying to save as much time as possible. Get the thermometer back out. Because the camera's no good to us at the moment. <coughs> so, we've got 11 degrees up here. It's getting colder, which is nice. could possibly have a hallway ghost this time. See if we can see where we find it spawning. As I say, as long as we haven't got a revenant, we can outrun all of the ghosts. got to try not to run back on ourselves, taking big circle uh, mo movements around the building. <coughs> this is why I find it very useful on high school to do this. Very strong possibility that we have got 
the hallway ghost. Because I got 9 degrees on the staircase, because 7 degrees. It's a very good sign. And it looks like it is, because it gets warmer as we get back down the stairs. Oh, we've got some cold temperatures over here. Let's quickly check these rooms. I I'm swigged to say that we have got a hallway ghost this time. Not unless I can find some freezing temperatures in these nearby rooms. Oh, well, wait a second. Here is our room, people, look. We passed it first time because professionals sometimes takes a little bit longer to register the temperatures. But I always leave the thermometer once I found the room outside of the room. It is because it's always a good telltale tell sign for your teammates. That is, if you're playing with teammates, to recognise which room you have found. Whilst you go back to the vehicle and start getting more equipment. But we've started well. It took a little bit longer than we expected, but at least we know we've got freezing temps. What we can do whilst we're outside in the safety is type in freezing temps into the first section of our evidence. Now what we're going to do is go back to the vehicle and start setting up all the experimental equipment needed to discover what goes we are actually dealing with. We can drop this down, we don't need that no more. Coming over here, we need to witness a ghost event, take a photograph of the ghost and get an EMF reading. So, we can start loading up what we need. We take a spirit box and an EMF to start off with. Try to what we could do. Just make our job a little bit easier. Is take some sanity pills to stop the hunt happening so much. Because obviously on professional, you haven't got a cool down window at the beginning of the map and use a possibility of getting haunted as soon as you enter the building but now that we have found the room it's all about setting up the experiments and trying to discover what goes we are actually dealing with ghosts keep knocking the lights off Breaker. No, it keep just knocks the lights off. So we could check that for fingerprints on the way back in if he's struggling to get information. But first of all, I like to set up the EMF, the spirit box, and oops, checked it over on the floor. Yeah, this ghost doesn't like. Oops, coming again. Hello there, you. Can a photo? Ah, I'm gonna camera to take a photo. <gasps> this ghost doesn't like the lights being on, so that could be a clue, that could be a mare. Oops, we are chucking everything on the floor here. So that's nice that we've experienced a ghost event now. Let's stick these down here. Is it anybody here? can take a picture of the phone and have it as an interaction. Is it anybody here? Can you give us a sign? Can you talk to us? How old are you? Where are you? At the moment I'm saying nothing detected. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to the vehicle and pick up some more equipment. See if we can gather some more information. So like I was saying, it's obviously I like to set up a spirit box, EMF, a spirit book, and a camera to check for orbs. But we should go back now and we should see that we've experienced a ghost event.
expert. Got EMF readings in that room. And the only thing left now is capture the picture of a ghost and determine what ghost we're dealing with. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to grab a book and we can grab camera on a tripod. Obviously if you haven't got tripods, you don't need tripods. They just make our job a little bit easier to position the cameras in a nice place to determine if we've got orbs or not. <coughs> and then on the last run, I'll go out, I'll get a photo camera and the UV light to determine if we've got fingerprints and capture a photo of the ghost. I don't find solo runs much more difficult than working as a team. The only difference is it takes a little bit longer to set up the equipment when you've only got one pair of hands carrying them, you know, the materials or instruments back and forth to the room. So we can come into here. Back yourself. No, we won't put it in our corner. There's a uh, plant in our corner which could obstruct our camera angles. So, track it down there. Stick the book down. Is it anybody here? Still saying nothing detected. That could be a telltale sign that a spirit box isn't going to be very useful in this run-through. If it's saying nothing's detected. The biggest bit, uh, a bit of advice I can recommend to you is if you've determined the ghost isn't going to be a revenant, then be brave, don't hide, it's a lot safer to kite the ghost if you know what direction it's coming from. It's a lot safer moving around, you know, less chance of the ghost actually catching you if you're constantly moving. So now this time we're going to grab a light and we grab another camera. So we can snap a photo of this ghost. Maybe in the future if we do a bit more of these run-throughs we could save a little bit of time if I come in and maybe put all the equipment outside a room or the door ready to go. Obviously you won't go into the room. Because we'll have to show how we detect the room first. But I'd like to start on the loading screen just to show you guys that I was on Brownstone High School professional map. At the moment we're still not showing much evidence. The only thing we have got to confirm is freezing temps. So, oh, we got fingerprints also, not oh, that's nice. So, what we can do is go to our camera, snap a photograph of that, make sure it counted, it did, which is always nice. You can also check the windows to get some extra points, see if any fingerprints on the windows or the light switches. We got one on the light switch also, look. Get as much photographic evidence as you can to uh, get some more points and money, which is the main thing. Alright, so now we can go back to the journal, type in fingerprints, and then they can tell us it's either going to be EMF, which we could possibly still have, spirit box. We can't get orbs. Writing in a book? No. So it's either going to be EMF 5, which is a banshee, or spirit box, which is a wraith. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to check that down. We don't need that no more. We can pick this up. And 
I scour around the room to see if we pick up any stronger EMF readings anywhere. We could try taking a photograph of here. No one interacted with it. Maybe you were at. I, I seem to have it hit the miss on the phones. Maybe it's just you gotta do it as it's ringing, maybe. So what I'm gonna do now is get my game. Oh, you didn't want to do that. That was a waste of a photograph. Let's take that back down and see if we can get readings. Is it anybody here? How old are you? Give us a sign. Where are you? My people are aware of saying this, nothing detected. That gives me a strong suggestion that it's going to be EMF. And when we click on EMF, it says it's Banshee or Spirit Box for a Wraith. I'm swinging towards EMF at the moment. Because it says nothing's detected. But we can also confirm that by picking it up. Is it anybody here? Give us a sign. Yes, yeah, I don't think it's going to be Spirit Box. Can you show yourself? Can you talk to us? Is it anybody here? Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a spirit box. We leave it on. Just a, it's a little bit uh, scary and loud in my ear, that was. quickly scour through. We gotta keep on talking to it to see if we can get a photo of the ghost. Is it anybody here? Give us a sign. Oops. I seem to chuck the EMF way too far. Been very vocal to us, but unfortunately, we're not getting the uh, an appearance from the ghost this time. And you show yourself. Is it anybody here? And there's our EMF 5. And there's our photograph. Perfect. Now we can confirm what ghost we've got. And we've done all of the objectives by taking a photograph of it. Now we can quickly run back to the vehicle, check that we've done all of the objectives, make sure our journal is filled out correctly, and we are good to wrap this investigation up. Don't need that no more. This way. Quickly confirm that we've done all the objectives, which we have. Then let's go to our journal. We've got a picture of the ghost. We know it's EMF 5 now, and we know for certain we are dealing with a banshee. With all that being said, we can close up the doors, pack up our vehicles. <laughs> We can come back here and we can see that we've earned just shy of $300, which is not a bad investigation if I don't say so myself.